PlayStation. I'm Pebble Today, we wish to bring you the first of some new content. Our goal is to refocus the channel to be about that, do why, and extreme music stuff, but also do some very times into bands and record that we will today. Today's topic is the history of Abatoglas. Being from Belgium, they are very important to me. Publicity, Brad will take it from here. Visions and from Ricochet. En Agatocles, de politiek correcte vegetarische minstkorbende uit de Kemper, nam de uitdaging aan om binnen de 15 minuten 12 nummers te spelen. En of het gelukt is, luister zelf maar, want dit is weer een Metalopolis Dissection Session van Binnenlandse Makelij om u tegen te zeggen Agatocles. We found it roughly in 1985 around Mol in België more officially in 1987. The name Agathocles is a Greek name in reference to the tyrant of Syracuse in Sicily from 317 to 304. The name is perhaps topical due to his desire to kill members of the Senate. Or they just thought the name was cool, I don't really know, hard to say. Oh, he also had a son named Archagathis. are also a men's core band out of Winnipeg, Ontario, Canada. They are heavily influenced by Daddy. With this in mind, Agathocles is a peculiar band even by grindcore standards. In fact, they didn't even refer to themselves as grindcore. They refer to themselves as men's core. That of which I think we'll need to do an entirely separate video on to really get into the nuance of what Minscore is. This is because the definition of this micro micro genre has changed meaning in recent years, sometimes being referred to as Minscore or even just Mints. Today, to many younger folks just discovering this dark crevice of extreme music, it means this. this. But explaining this more specific phenomenon involves like TikTok and Ski Mask and it's a bit convoluted to start something off already this incredibly niche and bloated with a thesis on the cultural shift of subculture via the instant access of the internet. In short, Minscore was meant to be, according to Jan Fredericks or Jan A.G., Minscore is the same as old school grindcore, the way it was in the 80s, raw, minimalistic, and socially and politically involved. This was intended to be a direct response to the sexism, misogyny, and homophobic lyrics of political ideologies running rampant in genres like grind and gore grind that had taken rise at the time in and around the region. To avoid being lumped in with such Neanderthal views, the moniker was developed in order to distance themselves from the bunch. Agathocles was always spearheading forward-thinking and anarcho-charged music, but their message is best summed up not in the interviews and the crusty zines and stage banter between songs. It is best explained through their lyrical content and artwork, plus their liner notes within releases. Take the 1997 track Mind's Core off the album Human Arrogance. <laughs> With 
with such a strong and forward-thinking agenda, Agathocles was and still is well-loved by many of their peers. They stay true to their values to this day. Never focusing too much on the quality of sound and sometimes even refusing riffs and ideas. Minimalism and DIY approach is what is king here. This mentality inspired later acts to take on a similar approach, both politics and release schedule. Bands such as the aforementioned Archigathis, Most notably, Unholy Grave. Rot. Dahmer. They'll never let us show that again! Not in a million years! And more recently, Haggis. Their legacy has influenced more bands than we can name in this video, and for the sake of time, we won't. They have certainly helped to lay the groundwork for extreme music. So, I mean, they have even influenced one of the more significant underground festivals for grindcore in terms of scale and popularity. Obscene Extreme Festival in the woods of Trutnov in the Czech Republic. With founder Cherby making them the first headlining act of the very first festival. I'm Jan from Belgium and uh, I'm the vocalist of a band called Agatoglas. I'm here with this festival uh, because uh, the first uh, day of the festival were all the bands who played 20 years ago. I started to learn uh, English because Tejan of Agato Chris, that's the great story. They came here, imagine, here in Trutno, first time they played here in 93 or something. Huh? And I came here totally drunk as f you know, I couldn't talk. And uh, I met Tejan and I told him, like, blah, 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 some bullshit, like, you know, every drunk uh, kid uh, is doing. And he gave me, like, you know, two EPs and told me, like, give me, like, Homer crowns, like, your currency. And I couldn't understand him, you know. And then he said, just, oh, okay, that's okay. And he just walked away. And I was like, what the f***, you know, I can speak with my idol. This is bullshit. So then I started to learn English by myself. You know, my English, as you can hear, is do it yourself. Didn't have it in the school, nothing, nothing at all, you know. And thanks to Jan, I can speak with you. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you, Jan. Agathocles' sound is also remarkable, as it recalls back to the simplicity and punk rock ethics, both within grindcore and beyond. Songs are uh, simple chord structures for the most part, and the songs follow a very formulaic approach. I don't see this as a negative at all, as it helps to put forward the riffs and hooks that makes the songs more memorable. The Gothicles music isn't that complex. 
fact, that's what makes little Baja Key Kevin attracted to the style. He took all of his dad's beer money. Buy a shitty pawn shop guitar, yell about anarcho political ideas. You could see why something like this is so popular. A typical Agathocles track is not much different than your early Napalm Death song structures, which is interesting as they likely would have not heard each other at this time, considering Napalm Death recorded their first demo in 1986. You typically have a riff lead in either on guitar or bass. This is then followed by an accented hit to count in a faster part. faster part can be a blast beat or whatever the f*** this is. There's almost always some kind of lead-in to guide the hook of the song. This allows for the songs to have only really like one or two riffs, and then the uh, vocalist or even the uh, rhythm section can dance around these ideas, really getting the maximum value uh, per idea in these songs. Stylistically, however, Agathocles have changed their sound several times over the years. They've dipped their toes into death metal, Crust. core. sound and ethics have never really changed, however. Agathocles have a bit of a long and confusing lifespan, riddled with member changes and various mutations over the years. The heart of the band has and always will be Jan, and still is to this day in 2024. They release new music and still play the occasional show when the opportunity presents itself. We'll be chatting with Jan later on 